Smilodon versus a raptor. Utah raptor, to be precise. Well, he is the largest. Damn, look at those fangs. They're huge. But look at those talons. They're huge also. Although commonly known as the saber-toothed tiger, Smilodon was not closely related to the tiger. Smilodon lived in the Americas during the Pleistocene Epoch, around 10,000 years ago. Smilodon was very robustly built, with particularly well-developed forelimbs and exceptionally long upper canine teeth. His jaw had a bigger gape than modern big cats, and his upper canines were slender and fragile, being adapted for precision killing. S. populator from South America was the largest species at 400 kilos in weight and 1.2 meters in height and was among the largest known felids. The coat pattern of Smilodon is unknown, but it has been artistically restored with plain or spotted patterns. In North America, Smilodon hunted large herbivores such as bisons and camels, and it remained successful even when encountering new prey species in South America. Smilodon's thought to have killed its prey by holding it still with its forelimbs and biting it, but it's unclear in what manner the bite itself was delivered. Utah Raptor is the oldest known and largest of the dromaeosaurids. Utah Raptor was what Velociraptor was supposed to be in Jurassic Park. The real Velociraptor was the size of a turkey. It lived approximately 125 million years ago during the Aptian stage. Utah Raptor is known for its powerful jaws and sickle claws. Unfortunately, it was feathered. Feathered dinosaurs are not cool. Join the gang, get the t-shirt. Please, spare the T-Rex. Please tell me the T-Rex was scaly. Just give me that one dinosaur, please. Just come on, man. Ah, well, InGen can modify the genes, so who cares? If you have the tech to bring back dinosaurs, you have the tech to make feathers go away. Anyway, enough of that. Who would win in a fight? Well, let's find out. For some stats, Smilodon. Height, 1.2 meters. Length, 2.3 meters. Weight, 400 kilos. Bite force, 300 kilos. Speed, 45 kilometers per hour. Diet, mastodons, bisons, and horses. Now onto the weapons of Smilodon. Smilodon was around the size of modern big cats, but was much more muscular. Smilodon is most famous for its relatively long canine teeth, which are the longest found in the saber-toothed cats, at about 28 centimeters long in the largest species, S. populator. Now onto the stats of Utah Raptor. Height, 1.7 meters. Length, 6 meters. Weight, 500 kilos. However, the 2001 Kirkland discovery indicates the species may be far heavier than previously estimated. Bite force, I'm guessing more than Deinonychus, so let's say 850 kilos. Speed, 50 kilometers per hour. Diet, small prey, but also large herbivores. Now onto the weapons of Utah Raptor. Each inside toe had a large 24 centimeter hooked claw that was controlled by a strong tendon. This claw was held upward when the animal was walking or running. However, when it attacked, the tendon snapped tight and the claw clamped down with great speed and force, slicing deeply into its victim. Recently, Gignac et al. 2010 presented a selection of bite marks to show Deinonychus as capable of deeply puncturing bone with powerful bites. Experiments with modern cow bones suggest Deinonychus needed a whopping 8,200 newtons to puncture Tenontosaurus bones, to a degree seen in the fossil remains. Utah Raptor also possessed excellent binocular vision and strong arms. Now to the advantages of Smilodon. Well, not many. This is really a battle of who can get to the neck first. But Smilodon's perhaps a little more accustomed to mauling attacks aimed at the neck. Smilodon's neck itself was much shorter than Utah's and harder to get to. Now to the disadvantages of Smilodon. Well, he was shorter, slightly lighter, and didn't possess massive claws on his feet like Utah. Now to the advantages of Utah. He possessed a more powerful bite. He was probably faster and more agile. He's used to taking down massive dinosaurs like Astrodon, albeit in groups. Now to the disadvantages of Utah. Well, not many. I get the impression that Utah Raptor's slender neck would be a very vulnerable area. Also, he was perhaps less experienced with mauling the neck and not letting go. Okay, let's fight. The Smilodon and Utah Raptor meet at a clearing in Jurassic World. Smilodon and Utah are very hungry. Smilodon charges first, mistaking Utah Raptor for a deer. First mistake. Well, he's never seen one before. Utah Raptor charges also and leaps on Smilodon before he can attack. 
Utah bites Smilodon's face, digging his sickle claws in deep. Smilodon is injured and runs away to recover. Gathers himself, charges again, this time more cautious. He dodges an attack from Utah and pins him down, biting at his slender neck. Utah claws Smilodon, but the damage is superficial. Smilodon keeps mauling Utah at the neck. Utah gets weaker and uh, dies. Verdict. Well, I made Smilodon win in the animation, but I think Utah Raptor would win 70% of the time. He's simply larger and more vicious, 100 kilos heavier. And uh, he's just an old, ancient, vicious dino. But Smilodon's no pushover, and he'd probably kick Utah Raptor's ass from time to time. Anyway, which dinosaur battle would you like to see next? Please let me know in the comments below, and I might make it. Until next time, I've been Viral Cura.